everybody you know what time of the year it is back to school so all the sales are going at mervin's is there still a mervin's and ross and all the other places <laughs> how old am i it's been a long time since I've been in school. But listen, the most educated thing you could do is follow us at Instagram and Facebook at Comedy Food Truck and subscribe to our YouTube channel by the same name. And then watch our sales funnel hit you up for money week after week after week. Get on our mailing list. Yes, we're trying to get rich in the next year. In the meantime, enjoy this show. Find us in the Mervin's catalog. <laughs> Shop at Zodi's. <laughs> hey, hey. The Sears, right? Sears catalog for women where most men... Became boys. <laughs> You're listening to the Comedy Food Truck Podcast. We talk life, food, relationships, and have fun with all of it. And now here's your host, comedian John Hill. What is going on, everybody? Yes, welcome to that time of the week that is 25 minutes before you start feeling guilty because you listened. <laughs> <laughs> it takes that long i thought it was about, well, about 10 well, seconds well it's the end of the podcast because you're about to listen for 25 minutes and at the oh, end of that man. you feel terrible for doing yeah. so <laughs> like why did i waste my time I feel so dirty i will never get it back traffic isn't really that bad um but we're glad you joined us yes i'm excited i'm pumped up it is misery loves company the middle of the summer as baseball coined the dog days of summer which is really weird but anyway yeah because, but I do know, because if you own a dog, you know, there's just not much to happen in the summertime. Yep. It's and it's too stinks. hot. And then dumb people. And if you're one of these people, stop it. Walk their dogs in the middle of the day on asphalt. Isn't that crazy? Where their paws are like yeah. sizzling and burning. And they're well, I got shoes on, so I guess I'm okay. <laughs> you get your dog shoes. They have make shoes for dog dogs. Dog is too. stepping on his own tongue. It's so hot. They don't bring any <laughs> water or nothing. You don't care. Mean people. Stepping on every time I tongue. drive, every time I drive, I see these idiots mm-hmm. out in the road with their dog. Even their dogs looking at like, what in the H E double? What are we doing? <laughs> if you are that person, stop it. What here? Tell you what, you go walk on the asphalt barefoot in a fur coat. Mm. Oh, yeah. in a hundred and ten degree weather. I had a dollar. For see how that works out. That. You know what? Remember that bet? Yeah. <laughs> <I do. laughs> uh huh. <laughs> See how that works out for you. That's all you, that's all you were wearing yeah. was a fur coat, though. I'll give you this, because people are like, why well, the dogs have pads on there? Yeah, okay, so put a pair of socks on. See how that works out. Yeah. I have pretty thick socks. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Right. You won't after about 10 steps in that weather and that asphalt. And no real way to sweat. No. Right. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah exactly. Right? right. Just panting. Mm-hmm. Just like, pant and hope for the best. Just pant and hope your, your dummy owner starts to figure something out <laughs> like put dummy. on a diaper and put on some socks underneath your armpit so you have no way of releasing any sweat yeah. and Duck there tape. you go why don't you just what is there some brain juice or something people could drink i mean what what helps mm. your brain isn't there something you eat or drink that helps your brain Ginkgo biloba. Huh? Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba. is that for real yeah what is it Ginkgo biloba. Right. What is it? It's a it's a brain <laughs> Do you have uh, to say stimulant. It like that? <laughs> yeah. Right. Comes from where? It's required. I don't know. Kiko Baloba. A brain Ginko. Ginko? Ginko. Yeah. I don't you know. know what, you know what's a oh, brain Ginko, stimulant too yeah. is meth. Oh yeah. That's that does. that's probably what these owners are on when they're walking their dog. <laughs> yeah. And they mething up. You better stop it. <laughs> Quit mething around. You better stop mething around. <laughs> Come listen to the comedy food truck podcast. We off. will stimulate your brain. <laughs> Come have your brain stimulated. We're going, we're going to stimulate something, and it, the problem is... We are the Ginkgo Biloba of podcasts. <laughs> wow. That should be one of our intros. I think that's illegal, yeah. isn't it? Right. We should rename our podcast Ginkgo Biloba. <laughs> they found Ginkgo Biloba on my laptop one time, and I got it. I had to, I had to yeah. <laughs> almost lost FBI my job. Take it. <laughs> they yeah. took it. I almost lost my job. <laughs> my wife almost dis- divorced me. Just turned on my laptop and found some Ginkgo Biloba. <laughs> Ginkgo Biloba? <laughs> whatever it is ginkgo so you think you're smart I'm like well that's what the ginkgo's for it's my plinko gablella <laughs> just say whatever you want how just can you butcher that up whatever <laughs> name you want stinko my globa pinky tusca de loba <laughs> well anyway we're glad you're here yep. and I want to introduce the crew like always so to my left is Jared 
who has all kinds of wires and knobs and stuff in front of him. <laughs> Plus all the electrical equipment. Plus all the sound equipment. Everything is plugged in. <laughs> Jared is lit up like oh, yeah. a Christmas tree. I <laughs> think you have no idea. Jared right. is lit. <laughs> I saw super, that ginkgo. Super lit. Snorting ginkgo before you got here. <laughs> he's like, he's like doing lines. straight lines he's of ginkgo. He's like ginkgo. <laughs> ginkgo on Red Bull. He's in there just rolling. I'm all ginkgoed up. Uh, that's it, man. I'm all jacked up on ginkgo lobin. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he's ginkgo wired. Um, uh, and then, of course, next to him is, I didn't even say, how you doing, Jared? I'm good. I actually am yeah. excited. I'm going to see Tears for Fears tonight uh, when this Shout episode drops. Out. Wow. Shout yeah. out. I'm excited. Yeah. Nice. That's yeah. good. We should be excited about the that's small cool. things. Like, Tears for Fears. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We have very different musical tastes. We I do. Know. I we go way have. back with Tears for Fears. Actually, I was thinking about it the other day for some dumb reason because I'm a nerd like this. I think of non-Christian bands because my mom wouldn't let me listen to non-Christian stuff when I was a kid. Mm. But I go back the farthest with Tears for Fears than any other band I've ever listened to. So, mm. yeah, they're still good. They're actually better than they ever were, so I'm excited. Got to drive out to the well, desert. It, it wasn't it, a long climb. Burning than they ever were but no, i'm just kidding it's i'm sure they're they're good musicians they and all that fantastic. i can't come, i can never anybody's able to put on an album get a following clearly yeah. has some skill at playing a song right mm-hmm. but when it comes to stylistically yeah not my thing oh not your style for sure yeah, yeah not my thing too it. It. It, it, most of the 80s has been you know ripped from my memory because i'm <laughs> just not i don't even know if they were 80s were they 80s or 90s oh yeah their yeah. their biggest hits came out like 85 yeah see and that's so. the thing my junior and senior year to me, it was a musical wasteland. Mm-hmm. I just don't like a lot of it. And then guys like you come along, you think those are oldies, but I mean, I'm kidding. No. But <laughs> the classics. Um, but for whatever reason, it's just not, yeah. I don't know. I was like these kids today. I didn't have to have surgery, but I was just trying to find myself mm. musically. Yeah. I was just trying to figure it out. <laughs> and uh, I didn't have to have surgery to do that. But You were going to have your, that you were gonna have your Kinko Globin removed? <laughs> Well, the thing is, is I was surrounded by people who liked a style of music that wasn't my thing. Like my sure. dad was into country, mm. not my thing. Mm-hmm. My mom was into like Barry and Manilow and some, yeah, you know, some of that stuff is not my thing. Eagle Burt, Dumper, oh. Dumper. Oh. <laughs> Dumple Stillskin. <laughs> Double ginkgo. Uh, Engelbert. Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> Dunkle <laughs> Stink. You know, some of that stuff. Peter Frampton, she was into okay. that, which oh, wasn't too nice. bad. Some of it, as I got older, we were able to look back and appreciate some of mm-hmm. it, but at the time, eh. And then uh, I just didn't realize there was a whole other spectrum of music that I just wasn't around anybody to listen to. Mm-hmm. So as I got older, and I was like you, I grew up just listening mostly. By about 12 or 13 years old on, all I listened to was Christian. Mm-hmm. Uh, so or gospel or something like that. Yeah. So I wasn't really aware of a lot of it. The big people, yeah. the big names, you know, that would. But more recently, I got older. I like. I mean, I, I have a playlist about six hours long. Mm. I call it road trips. Whenever I go, yeah, it's got a, quite a few bands on there that I formerly used to say, not necessarily them, but I didn't like that style. Sure, but I found these bands in that style. And I'm like, well, they're good. Yeah, you know. So anyway, okay. But Tears for Fears is yet to make it to my playlist. But right. um, and thanks, by the way, a couple shows back when you. Unlocked Arrested Development for me. Oh, okay. Couldn't think of the name. <laughs> yeah. I got about three or four of their songs on there now. They're, they're quite clever. I go back they and listen are, to the lyrics, yeah. and they're actually, mm-hmm. lyrically, maybe stronger even than musically. So yeah, pretty I would agree with that. They're saying. Yeah, pretty they were, cool. They were good. Deep. Anyway, uh, Scott's here too. Yep. Yep. What's up, Scott? In person, by the way. We don't want to take that for here granted. I am, right Scott's here. going to see Depeche Mode tonight. He's oh, right good. Up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what songs do they sing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know Tears for Fears did shouted what shout shout, shout. and then uh, everybody wants to rule everybody the world. wants to rule the world mad world everybody yeah. wants head over to... heels oh yeah head over heels they, I remember that they I did was... have some songs yes <laughs> yes they did I remember head over heels I was I was going through a scuba diving training at the time when that song came out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the only reason why I can remember that is because you were scuba diving and you're like your your heels are actually above your head but it was like. So that's why the opposite of so, song. Yeah. So something somehow happened. that somehow that somehow that somehow that matched for you. Me, yeah. Something happened and you were head over heels. Do you know why scuba divers fall backwards out of the boat? Yes. Because if they fall forward, they land in the boat. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I mean, and that, note, right? And that incredibly sage wisdom <laughs> yeah. from the voice of Ray, yeah. who's also part of our show, and has the topic for today. So. I do. How are you doing, Ray? And you're on. Ah, 
Hi, John. Hey, we're 10 minutes in, so yeah. <laughs> you got 10 minutes. I think, it's awesome. I think it's awesome that Scott is here again, by the way. Just yes, in person. Point that awesome. out again. Yeah. Okay, so what I have And we is, have the same bucket of liquors we've had three months. <laughs> we do. Because I, I just, I, I took a <laughs> bite a of this. It tastes during good. The, during the intros, and it's like, I mean. It's a little chewier. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Wow. Wow. Clink. Yeah. That was that was race fear that you have tears for. <laughs> so I have a list here. It's it's from the Washington Post, mm. and they ask their Quality pretty liberal. They yeah. ask their readers, they ask their readers to supply uh, alternate definitions or meanings to common words, and they are called, according to John's pronunciation, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's right. Blame me. Neologisms. Right. Ginkgo bilobisms. That too. Okay. Ginkgo, yeah. Ginkgo neoglobisms. <laughs> Neo ginkgo logosim. <laughs> Placebos. Right. Okay. So, so I'll give you the word, and then I'll give you their definition. Okay. Are you ready? So here's. Wait. The, how about if you give us their definition, we guess the word, or give? Or, I don't know, I'm trying to think of how to make this into a game. But go ahead. Okay. It's kind of funny if you just read the word in the definition. Okay. okay. Fine, right? Your show. Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> And raise defense, you made him do this. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. It's the crack preparation that you put into it. Crack. Oh, yeah, I remember. Here, I can do this. Okay. Coffee. Mm-hmm. It's a noun. It's the person upon whom one coughs. Uh, Jeez. Wow. Okay. I'm well, see, to see now I'm already thinking ready. that you should give us words and we should come up with definitions. See how close okay. we can get to what okay. Kate came up with. Okay, here's, here's the word. You guys can, now give, that we me, have an you idea. can give me your definition, okay. right? Okay. Flabbergasted. Mm. <laughs> so you fart on a fat guy? Fart on a fat guy? <laughs> <laughs> it pulls his t-shirt over his head. <laughs> I, think, it. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's what... I, th- I think it's what an obese person feels when they climb the steps. Yeah. <laughs> give me, give me a second. I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of steps. My flab is Ooh. gassed. I am flabbergasted. Yeah. Their definition is appalled over how much weight you have gained. Okay, yeah, it's pretty close. close. <laughs> pretty close. Pretty I'm close. aghast <laughs> at how much flab I have. Okay. Got it. Abdicate. 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 <laughs> Abdicate. Globalism. <laughs> Abdicate. Abdicate. I, it's got it. No, that's Karen. I was trying to think of something with the, you yeah. know, those white women with attitudes. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yep. Abdicate. I feel like Abdicadabra or Abacadabra. <laughs> well, I don't know this one. I don't think I have a good one for this one. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, no, I got nothing. I'm going to say uh, stand up for what you believe in. Okay. That's you not for like real definitions. Real, that's not funny. This These is, are new definitions. <laughs> this is verb verb to give up all hope of ever having a flat stomach. <laughs> oh, good. Nice. To Kate. Well, you know what it really means, though, right? Mm. You guys know. I can't remember. It's it's, it's when like you, to, it's like delegate, right. but but where delegate you sort of also help equip somebody like to do step it well. Aside. Okay. Abdicate is when by default because you're not doing your job, somebody else does your job. Like you abdicate it to him. I've abdicated this to John. Yeah, but yeah, it's not conscious usually. It's usually like someone else saying, uh, they just abdicated it over to them. They didn't do their uh, job and they, they made them do the job. Yeah. Gotcha. I feel like uh-huh. I've only ever heard this word in relation to like royalty. Right. Or someone oh, like, you yeah, abdicate yeah, the, the throne. throne. Yeah. 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 That's funny because I've never heard the word. Really? Nope. Well, there you go. Are we ready? Ready. Are you flabbergasted? Number four. Yeah. Number quattro. Quattro. Number quattro. Numero quattro. <laughs> Esplanade. <laughs> Can you spell it? E S P L A N A D E. Esplanade. Esplanade. You know esplanade. what that? You know what the esplanade is, or an esplanade. You know what that is, right? No. It's a it's a common area. Well, that's is what they call it. Called called it's, 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 it's what they call the common area between Disneyland and California Adventure. It's like yeah. a it's like a common gathering place. Oh, like a like, quad, like a quad, or like a big entryway, or and it's big, said that way. Yeah, esplanade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's French. Is it? It's spelled esplanade. Es, esplanade. Right. Esplanade. Right. Esplanade. I'm esplanade. gonna say giving somebody bad directions. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> say, Let uh, me esplanade. <laughs> esplanade. Let me esplanade. I don't know. A flavor of Kool Aid. I don't know. Esplanade. I think it's when you try to explain something only not in your head in Morse code. So when somebody, <laughs> please tell so, me. 
<laughs> Please kill me. It's <laughs> when, uh, when somebody who has English as a second language tries to give you directions. Mm-hmm. Mm, pretty good. Pretty yeah. close. It's to attempt an explanation while drunk. Oh, oh good. That's fine. Let, Let, Let me esplanade. Let me esplanade this for you. Esplanada. That's okay. fine. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of this one. Ready, ready, <laughs> go. Disappointed. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> it's uh, it's willy nilly. It's when you pass a certain age and you get ED. <laughs> You're like, what happened? I got a willy nilly. <laughs> I think you should go to the doctor for that. <laughs> it's when you get bumps. So on what it. happens after four hours? <laughs> Oh my god. Warts. Warts. <laughs> oh, that's what they have when they do switch genders. It was <laughs> warts? No, no, when you went no. from a boy to a girl, oh, now yeah. you have a willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, their definition is impotent. Oh, that's there you I go. Said. That's, that's exactly what it means. Which is, yeah. yeah, which is actually, I think, an Egyptian god. Is <laughs> <laughs> a willy nilly or impotent? Oh yeah. There's Amenhotep. There's Imhotep. There's Impotep. Impotent. 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 That's right. It's the German god of <laughs> Nada. It's the Nada. German uh, German. What of, am I talking? Of, German. Of, the Egyptian. Of, Egyptian, of, uh, Egyptian god of growth. I was saying the Egyptian god of uh, what is it? Deflation. <laughs> Deflation. <laughs> Or it's just how uh, some people say something's really, really, you got to get to it. It's impotent. <laughs> you got to get to it. <laughs> is, that's really impotent. I got something impotent to do. I got uh, something impotent to do. All right. Here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got to read their actual definition to make sure this is appropriate. Okay. <laughs> Negligent. Oh, yeah. That's what you get from Victoria's Secret. That's a, yeah, that's a man wearing women's underwear. That's what it's not like. <laughs> wearing women's lingerie. It's a negligent. Negligent. Yeah. Negligent. Yeah, that's good. The negligee is what like a woman ours. wears. Yeah. I like the negligent. <laughs> the negligent is a man in lingerie. Yeah. Right. That's a nice negligent you got on, sir. Thank you. That really brings out your eyes. You just put it's it what, on all willy nilly, did it's you? It's what, <laughs> it's, it's what the groom wears on his wedding night. He wears his negligent. Good, yeah. Nice. Yeah. The wife, the wife wears the negligee. The groom wears the negligent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good call. I like it. Scott, yeah. anything? I got nothing. All right. Their definition describes a condition in which you absent-mindedly answer the door in your nightgown. Okay. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I like ours better. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> Lymph, L Y M P H, yeah, like yeah. a lymph node. Lymph. Oh, the word is lymph, though, not lymph, lymph node. It's just lymph. It's like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Somebody with a hair lip and a bad sprained ankle. <laughs> As a lymph. I got a lymph. I had to limp off the field. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't even know after that. Yeah, mm. <laughs> this one's pretty good. I like their. Yeah. Def- I like their definition. To walk with a lisp. Oh, yeah. oh that's, that's what I was thinking. Wow. Yeah, like yeah. a lisp. Yeah, yeah. It's the length of the lisp. lisp. <laughs> walk with a lisp. Gargoyle. <laughs> no. Wow. Like it. Yeah, it's gargling with uh, olive oil. Or- oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Their definition is gross olive flared mouthwash. Jared with Jared from the oh, Could you olive, imagine? Gross olive flavored mouthwash. Oh. Mm. oh, that's enough to make you hurl. <laughs> yeah, but it won't. It won't. <laughs> it's all bubbling out of your mouth, running down. But it's really good for diabetics because it won't raise your blood sugar. That's true. That's why. I, that's why. I nice. can't be gargling with and vegetable the, oil. The food just slides uh, right through you. Honey, where's my gargoyle? Yeah, exactly. it's like I'm popping an olive pimple. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Trying to make a vinaigrette. It's, Where's it's the gargoyle? In, it's in my eye. It's in my eye. <laughs> right. That's funny. Oh, oh my gosh. Flatulence. Flatulence? Flatulence. Flatulence. Uh, breakfast food. 
you say breakfast food? Yeah. Flatty flakes. <laughs> you want a short stack or a tall stack of flatulence? <laughs> like flapjacks. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Mm. Flatulence. Flatulence. <laughs> <laughs> Theirs is pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. When you have gas sitting down, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's already. Yeah. Kind of. It's already funny. Yeah. What do you got? What do they got? Emergency vehicle that picks you up after <laughs> you are run over by a steamroller. <laughs> that's when you fart too hard and got to go to the hospital. Until <laughs> so they that's, take you in. That's better. <laughs> After you get run over by a steamroller. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fart, fart has splinters in it. Uh, fart is so hard I needed an episiotomy. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Somebody give me some of that ginkgo. Getting like four four sutures on my butt crack. <laughs> give me some ginkgo negligence. <laughs> it ram it straight over. My will is nilly. I need some, I need. Uh, did, did you say ginkgo negligence? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that ginkgo negligence. Jared, does this negligence make me look fat? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm about to abdicate. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> worship, worship impotent. Okay. Uh, we can't have impotent worship. I know that. <laughs> I'm serious. If you have impotent worship, you better raise up. <laughs> The name of the Lord. Wow. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm being serious. That I word need a does, good healthy bowl does, of flatulence. The, oh. word, the word does refer to more than just For the sure, body yeah. does. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Balderdash. <laughs> Balderdash. We're 10. <laughs> Gosh. That is weird. That? That's when a female sprinter has no hair. She lose her weave and she's run running. Run. She's she's running. Running. She ran out of her so weave. It's, a, it's, it's an Olympic event. <laughs> now up the Boulder Dash. I'm sorry, the man. The 100 meter Boulder, Boulder Dash. dash. <laughs> sorry, man. Your hair is too long. You need to go shave that off. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> That's close. Theirs is a rapidly receding hairline. There oh, you go. The Boulder so Dash. The hair's running away from your face. Wow. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, retreat. Oh my gosh. Retreat. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get one more here. Yeah. There's, there's, there's only 14 and we're on 11. Okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's knock them out. Well, then, tres mas. Rectitude. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's got to be. Uh... <laughs> this was when you have an attitude that might ruin your life. You better, I would, you better get that rectitude in check, young man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really sassy fart. <laughs> I was gonna say a surprise fart. <laughs> it's when it's when the husband has so much gas, the wife divorces him. <laughs> <laughs> can I have can I have a reason for your divorce? Wait, it's wait. the rectitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, we Scott. cannot rectify this rectitude. <laughs> Scott, did you just rectitude? <laughs> <laughs> wow. The formal, dignified bearing adopted by proctologist. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Wow. Excuse me for a second. Can you bend down? I'm going to get my rectitude. <laughs> a tude? Oh. It's, it's, they're getting worse. worse. He's They'll talking be... to the nurse. They're getting worse. <laughs> Stethoscope, scalpel, rectitude. <laughs> Can you turn down my rectitude? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just use digital now. I don't I don't have one of those record players. Rectitude. Oh, man. I'm not feeling well. My rectitude's off today. <laughs> 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 I need an horse gargoyle. <laughs> the gargoyle gave me some rectitude. <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, no. Okay, so this, I already know <laughs> this one. I already know this one. Okay. This, what did I say? <laughs> this is a Jamaican sushi. <laughs> it's Pokemon. <laughs> it's Pokemon. <laughs> is that what it is? Is that what it no, says? No, it's worse. Oh, no. Oh. It's worse. Oh, boy. I think that's pretty good. It is pretty good. Right? This one's that's funny. That's Jamaicans make sushi. What is it called? It's Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say it's an Ethiopian's version of the spring roll. Okay. Okay, you are completely... Like, Ethiopian has nothing to do with Pokemon. <laughs> Japanese something. That's funny, though. It's funny. This one's funny. Ethiopian spring roll. This, this one is funny. A Rastafarian proctologist. Oh, yeah. That's good, too. That's good, too. <laughs> That's good. 
I just, I gotta go see the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just turned 45. I gotta go see the Pokemon. Got to see the Pokemon. I'm here to go. I'm gonna walk into the doctor. <laughs> hey, man, I'm here to see the Pokemon. Hey, man. The doctor's like, hey, man, do you have enough jerk chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you know, wrecked up uh, rectitude. <laughs> He's gonna check your rectitude. <laughs> hey, Pokemon, Pokemon, can you check my rectitude? Hey, Pokemon. <laughs> wow. Okay, here we go. Hey, Mister mm. Pokemon, give me <laughs> those mas. Circumvent. Mm. Yeah, that's when a Jewish kid. I'm just kidding. Sorry, I have no idea. <laughs> I got man, I can't. This is bad. I have I no can't. idea. I, just, I got, no, I got, got ideas. This is good. This is a good one. This is a good Old Testament I humor. Think, I, don't, I don't think we can top this one. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. An opening in the front of boxer shorts worn by Jewish men. Mommy, mommy, mommy. I gotta use the bathroom. Mommy, mommy. Can you, no, listen, just just open up the circumvent and get it done. Get it done. Uh, we can't top that one. Uh, and number 14. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even, I've never even heard this word. Hmm. Frisbeterianism. Frisbeterianism. Yes. F R I S B E E T A R I A N I S M. Frisbeterianism. Okay, so a Frisbeterian. So the worship Frisbee. Frisbeterian. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that like. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Frisbeterianism, yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. It's a movement of some sort. Isn't yeah. that people that eat nothing but Frisbees? Pretty much. <laughs> could a Frisbeterian. There you go. Could be. You're yeah. a Frisbeterian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, it's be. the only game they play is frisbee. It could, it could be. It could be religion. It could be frisbee, right. frisbee. You worship yeah. the the yeah the frisbee the, the, frisbee, yeah. the sphere. Mm-hmm. The disc. S- yeah, the disc. There you go. What do they got? It's got discology. The belief that when you die, your soul flies up onto the roof and gets stuck there. <laughs> The question is, most of the rest of them, I know what they really meant. Right. What does that really mean? I don't right. know. We got to look that up. Because that's the fake definition. Frisbeterianism. What is a real Frisbeterianist? Mine is frozen. It does this. Right? It's, why is it? Uh, it's what happens when Presbyterians wake up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> circumvent. Yeah, circumvent was the best. That's how the that's how the temple priest uses this the restroom. Was, uh, this is, it was coined as a circumvent. It was coined by George Carlin. Okay, so it's not really a word, oh, right? Nah. Yeah, but he, that was his definition. What you, is it sitting up on the when you die, your soul oh. goes up on the roof and gets stuck. Oh, so nice. it's not even a real word. No, lame. I wonder, wonder what George thinks now about all those jokes he made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. That's that was that's good. good. That was oh good. yeah, good job, guys. Sorry. That was good. Gonna wrap up the show. That was, I that was, that was impressive. Guess I'm the host. Um, <laughs> well, you guys can write in more funny words, and we will make definitions for you. Mm-hmm. Right. Or if you have your own definition of a funny word, or maybe the words we said today, maybe you have a better one. Yeah. I would love to see what you all think. Bring it. Yeah. Plus, anybody who wants to write us a mean letter saying our show is terrible, mm-hmm. that'll work too. Yeah, write those. We'll read them on the air. All news is good news. <laughs> Any press right. is good press. All press is good press. Right. We don't want to circumvent the process. Mm-mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> With your flatulistic self. I think Frisbeterians, yeah. they worship the God impotent. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. They are. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't have any more jokes. All right. That's it. Time's up. All right, you guys for joining us. Yes. We'll be back again with another amazing show. Another. Just, just end it. Time's yep. up. Another butter a show. Like just hanging up the phone. Just, just like right mid sense. All right, everybody joins it. Click. <laughs> a little busy, the busy tone. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast will self destruct. All right, now, seriously, everybody, we're out, but uh, like us, love us, share us, be us. <laughs> I like that. Thanks, God. That's deep and motivating. All right. All right. We're out till next week. See you guys. See ya. Bye.